Welcome back everyone for the next part of Persona 5 Royal. Let's see what's going to happen next. I mean, the people are talking about us. That's very good. But yeah, we really need another clue. I mean, I know that we have some kind of criminal we need to hunt, but I'm how are we supposed to hunt him? Where is he supposed to be? And how are we connected to him? I mean, we can't just run into him like that, right? So, are we there yet? It's hard to breathe in here. Yeah, well, it's kind of pushy right now. Now for today's train news. Today's headlines are... Calling card at Madarama's exhibit. The police are evaluating whether this is true, threat or prank. Scam outbreak in Shibuya. Students are the primary victims. Organized crime is suspected here. Hey, Scam hey. artists, huh? Students getting scammed. That's scary. You should be careful when you go to Shibuya. Right. Ah, nobody's going to steal my money. 70k. No way. Huh? What's this? A request to the student body. Okay. It says they're looking for information. I heard Principal Kobayakawa put it up. Please consult the student council president if you have any details. So we can go to her for anything? Why the student council president, though? What does she have to do with Principal Kobayakawa? I mean, Nijima-san is his favorite. Maybe that's why he asked her to do it. Hmm. Now she's asking around the whole sit uh, the whole school. This is bad. Do I also need to go over? How tragic. Oh, wait. It seems like most of society was surprised about what that artia artist did. He was someone who represented Japan. They probably trusted him based on his name alone. Indeed, we are easily manipulated by the name we see. However, this world is filled with fake names. For instance, this creature which you know well. Uh huh. It's called the Red King Crab. But it has form. I mean, it has a form that the crab should not have. Narakun, look at this picture. Huh? Give it a try. The Red King Crab is biologically related to a hermit crab. So, how is it different from a crab? Do you know? Uh... Boah. Maybe it's the pincer size? Or the legs? A face can't be. I don't even see a face. Network! It's the legs, okay? Uh, the number of legs. This is it. I guess it's supposed to have another two pair? <laughs> That's it. Hmm, not bad. That is correct. Yeah, an extra pair. <laughs> okay. Crabs have five pairs of legs, but Red King Crab only have four pairs. The direction the legs unfold is reversed too. Uh, typically, they face forward, but the Red King do not. No Interesting. Wow, really? Narcos is kind of smart. Nice. That more points. More points. I wonder how much I need for the fourth level. Should be getting close now. Incidentally, the terminal of a crab is in its brain, as some people say. People say it's actually the crab's liver and pancreas. As you can see, the world is full of deception. I saw some kind of pasta like that in the fridge at the Blanc, but it's not often to see a real crab meat. Hey, why don't we go get sushi for our next celebration? No thanks, I don't like fish. Like seriously, I don't like fish. Afternoon. Our name did spread a bit thanks to Madarama, but I bet people still wouldn't care if we came out and said we are the fans. We two, we are not going to do that. We're going to get in trouble if we did that. I'm not so sure about that. So no, I doubt anyone would believe us. But what good would come of telling people our identity? Maybe they at least start treating us with some respect. Well, I understand why you feel that, but that's just how things are now. But if we keep doing stuff like this, this will definitely change. We simply need to devote ourselves to the cause. Our praise will come later. What he said? I'm sure some people out of out there will understand. Uh, I guess we just gotta act like modern heroes for now. Well then, after school? Do I have an after school today? 
I mean, it says after school, but the chance that the we have something else to do is very likely. Is, is something happening today, or am I free? Oh no. What's this? President, what is the meaning of that posting? Principal Kobayakawa put that up without my... We've already received some anonymous information. I heard some students are getting threatened. I'm so scared. Please do something. What? They have dirt on me and they're demanding money? I can't go to the police, what should I do? Isn't this talking about the crimes that have been rumored to be occurring in Shibuya? So there are even victims at our school. What should we do? This isn't the responsibility of the student council. This is frightening for us too. Principal Kobayakawa called you in yesterday, right? Did he tell you anything about this? Well, no. He's out today, but I will ask him tomorrow. Please, wait on this for the time being. If you say so. My apologies for the confusion. Don't worry. I'll do something about all of this. Makoro. Oh man. I even hey. get trouble thanks to that stupid principal. If we keep this up, I'm sure we get more supporters. Why is so much rain lately? But first we need to we need a new target. I hope we find a good one. Hmm. Hey, I have new Oh my god, Mishima! Apparently there's a group of Bulgars terrorizing Shibuya. From what I heard, they only targets restaurants break in after they close for the day. Someone online was asking if it was the work of the Phantom Thieves. Just reading that got me pissed off. We can't let people lump, uh, lump you guys with these petty thieves, right? No way! Of course not. We steal hearts, but we protect the innocent. Yeah, you guys are way better than these jerks. Anyways, I heard they've just been running away without leaving any trace or evidence. That's all the information I have on them right now. Sorry. For now, I'll make a post on the fan site and ask for more details. People might know. Mm. Man, being famous really brings it brings its own unique set of problems. But we don't really have any infos. We just have to wait for Mishima to get a more solid lead. And once you do, we're going to go to the Memento. So oh, I yeah. guess we'll wait for that a bit. Hey, there was something going on with Kiwakami, wasn't there? Something involving Shono? I'm not sure what's going on, but maybe you should ask her about it. She's probably still at school, right? Let's go look for her. Sure. Let me just Rain quickly find her. her. Uh, could I maybe erase this? I mean, he apologized. We don't need to draw something like yeah. that. Wow, this looks li just like Madarame. I guess everyone saw his press conference. Yeah. Can I not? Yeah. Cannot erase it? Too bad. Okay, let's look for the teacher. Oh, mm -hmm. are they really fighting? Uh, Miss Kawagami, I already know. Kawagami's been driven into a corner by Shuno. Let's talk to her so we can help her out. Sure. <sighs> As I've been saying, get home safely now, Kun. What? Well then, I have another matter to attend to, so I have to excuse myself. No, we're not finished talking yet. Uh, but I... So... There's been a series of scandals on this campus. We are all being called into question. And yet you leave work earlier than anyone, and you barely make it to the faculty meetings. Explain yourself. Don't tell me you're out running around at night. Mm. Oh, she's getting grilled. She said she's doing anything if we help her out, right? So let's clear up Shuno's suspicions. The school's closing soon, M Mr. Nara. Head home before it's getting late. Or did you need something from Miss Kawagami? Actually, I have a question for her. It's about school. She's my homeroom teacher, after all. What? What? Oh, you have another question? Another question? Uh, that's right! <laughs> Narukun's questions are complicated, so I take so it, I would take time at night to help him out. So you're giving individual lessons outside of school of ours. What passion! You're an ideal teacher. A passionate teacher is exactly what we need at the school. I'm sorry for suspecting you. Well then, keep up the hard work, you two. Uh huh. Uh, she ate that really quickly. Uh, she's just kind of convinced herself. But that did clear up her suspicions, so... Thanks? 
Could you come with me for a bit? Sure. I can't talk about this at school. This is the address and phone number of my night shop. Huh? Call at night and request me. Just be careful that it doesn't show up in your call history, you know, okay? Hey! Oh! Okay! So, no calls history means a public telephone. Let's call from the yellow phone. Let's call Kawagami when you're free and invite her to meet you at your room. Well... Okay, I have to go. Huh, interesting. Very interesting. So, what do I do now? What do I do now? I guess I'm just poking around the town a bit. Maybe find something special. Like that stalker over there. What a relief. Looks like the home fresh stamp isn't around here. After that artist though, those phantom thieves might come back to steal his heart. If they come, I show them no mercy. I make them bleed. It's a bloodstorm, Giggle. Mm -hmm. Oh god. Can I get a better view of her? She's kind of creepy. She's very creepy. Okay, let's just head out of here. This is too creepy for me. Ah, you're back. So, actually, didn't Kawagami give you here her phone number? Are you going to call her? Hmm, I should probably call her. Also, I cut something out, which I should probably have shown you guys, but uh, there was a diner in the central street area which allowed me to study and buy some food which increased my stats so i choose guts leveled up right away which means now we are finally on level three which should should totally be enough for the vi guy and uh i guess uh, now we're going to call what was the name again i needed guts for this as well huh great <laughs> Well, think of calling in the maid. Well, if you use this, you won't leave proof in your calling history. It's all for the good of the Fender Thieves, right? Uh huh. Good to know that I also need guts for this. Good that I leveled it up. Okay, let's do this. Kawagami. Hi, this is Becky. Oh, wait, it's you. Well, be 5k? With the request fee included, you know? Is that okay with you? Sure. I mean, I do have the money. I guess I need to farm more money in the future. I see. Very well. I head over right away. Sure. It's only gonna be fine. So, uh, so you wanted to talk? This is your room, huh? Hmm. How do I put this? It's dirty, I know. But it's decent to live in. Uh, never mind. So. What kind of kid are you? The way you opposed Mr. Kamoshida, I'd say that you're earnest and have a strong sense of justice. That being said, you called a maid service and requested me? Well, I don't really have any friends. I see. Oh, that's right. You have a criminal record. Okay, then... How about this? Also, let's not forget about the fact that you gave me the number to call you, right? I'll let you skip class a few times. What? It's tough not having any place where you belong, isn't it? You're gonna, you're gonna allow me to skip cl class? Seriously? However, I reserve the right to change my mind if your grades drop. Oh, uh, sure. In Don't worry. Exchange, you won't tell anyone that I'm moonlighting as a maid. Sound good? Thanks! It's then a good it's deal, a deal, actually. Uh, I made a deal with Kawagami. Well, this is actually a really good deal. Thanks! You know, at the beginning, I was kind of happy that you didn't try to talk to me at all. Which uh, allowed me to not get caught by the police. But now, you kind of crown on me! To think you pulled off so many crimes while attending school. I can't believe you managed that by yourself. There had to be someone at the school helping you. What do you have to say to that? I'm not going to say anything. Hello, she's helping me. I'm not getting... Now. I'm not selling now out anyone, I. no matter how much you now ask me, Sai. I'm never going now. to answer those questions. It shall become the wings of rebellion that break it. So which persona do I need for you? With the birth of the temperance persona, 
I have a blast out wings of blessing that shall lead to freedom and new power. I think so. Oh, I need to hunt personas. Uh, slack off allows you to perform various activities in Kawagami's class. All right. Nice. Uh, what am I doing here with one of my students? We have a nice conversation. Alice, oh, good. Well, I guess I should get going. Oh, please request me if you need any help with your housework, okay? Uh, why? Well, I mean, we know each other's secret, and it would really put my mind at ease. Besides, I'm, uh, I'm considered over the hill for this type of job, so I don't get requested that often. I'll show my appreciation by making it easy for you to ditch class. Just think about it, okay? Huh, sure. Sure. If you give me more time, that's always good. Master! But you're going to cost me so much, Jen. 5k every time. Ah, oh, Kawagami. Kawagami, you're going to bleed me dry. You don't need to do that, though. God. You have no idea how exhausting this shop is. Listen, promise me you won't tell the school about this, okay? For both of, both of our sake. Absolutely no talking about maid stuff to anyone. <laughs> oh my god, what's the face? Uh, it'll be our really secret just for Becky and Mass, okay? Can you keep a secret? Uh... Yeah. Thank you so oh my much. gosh, Master. Thank you so much. But really, don't make that face again. <laughs> it was too anime like. Okay, uh, I'll make sure to keep my promise to you. Well, I'm gonna head home. Until next time. Oh, and don't forget to study for your exams, okay? If you waste all your time playing around, your grades will suffer. Bye. See you later. Don't worry, I'm studying a lot. Don't worry about a thing, we got this. I mean, it was pretty close to level 4 as well, so it should be fine. Oh, uh, Maruki! Yes. Sounds like a lot of people are going to be on top of the trip. Wait, going to be on the trip to the studio tomorrow. Do you guys get to see the show too? I wouldn't mind seeing that. I like to talk. I like talk shows. Oh, and variety shows. Wonder if they'll talk about the fan face. They certainly get plenty of attention on TV and the internet. Mm. Though I'm a little worried about what might happen if the media gets people too riled up. Oh, that reminds me. Have you guys covered totally? Oh my god, totally? Yes. Oh. I can't. I'm okay. What's up with those names? <sighs> it's a governmental structure that unites the people under a single ideology and authorized control over the masses. In theory, it brings the people together under, under one ideal. That definitely comes with logistic benefits. But it also means forcing ideas on people, assimilating the unwilling. And that's how war gets started. How about and you? rebellions. Alright, Narakun, here's a question. Uh, okay. Where does the world take things a step further than a for yes, oh my god. Uh, justification in the law? Controlling public thought. How about controlling public thought? That work? Yes. Good. This is it. Good. I guessed it correctly. Exactly. Well said. Wow, I'm surprised you knew that. Yes. The thing government tries to control the culture, morals, and even the thought of its people. To minimize dissension, they try to assimilate everyone into one ideolo ah, ideology. Even reading the room can be seen as a form of personal assimilation. You all do that too, right? I try to thought uh, I am not great at it, so... It's not a bad skill to have. It can even help you survive the modern world. But you can't do it so too much if you make an echo chamber. Then the people whose opinion difference might get hurt. No oh, he actually knew that. Knowledge! Nice, Knowledge! How far am I for the fourth rank? Hmm. 
Oh well. So. Uh, I'd like to remind you all to keep a strong sense of self and an open mind so we can dis disagree and still live in harmony. I guess class is over. That's it for today. Mm. A strong sense of self, huh? Uh, we need to make sure we don't lose the sight of what we believe in, too. Right. So, what do we do? Do I have an after school today? Lunch time? How oh, Anne! Sounds like the principal's trying to get info on the students. Why do you think he's doing that? It's probably because of Mr. Kamashita, right? Considering what happened with Suzuki-san. Huh? I heard Principal Kobayakawa knew about the sexual harassment too, and just turned a blind eye to it. I bet he wants to snuff out any rumors now. Even the volleyball team was told to keep quiet. That's the worst! So that's what he's using Mijibu's senpai for? <sighs> oh yeah, rumor has it she knew as well. Isn't that horrible? Chick's all noble about it too. Mijima senpai knew? No, no she didn't knew. That's why she wanted to try out and ask the principal about it. But it's bad that such rumors are already spreading about it. What is the meaning of this, Principal Kobayakawa? Why did you post that notice? It was all for your sake. I thought the more information you had, the easier your investigation would become. And? Did any information arise about the case I asked you to look into? Nothing yet. I will pass the details along if anything comes up. Right now, there is a more pressing issue. It appears there are students at Shuchen who are being threatened by a criminal organization. Uh. A student who saw your posting came to us looking for help. I'd like to request a countermeasure. Isn't this some sort of mistake? I can't believe this would happen to the students of our academy. Now is no time for such problems. There is still lingering concern regarding the Phantom Thieves. Shouldn't you worry about the student in the first place? I mean, the Phantom Thieves just won't disappear like that. But we received a request for help. I'm rather busy at the moment. If you wish to do something, you will need to act on your own. What? Sir, are you sure about this? I'm still investigating your case as well. Yes, that's correct. It works out perfectly. My intentions have borne fruit. This criminal organization must be the connecting factor. If you pursue this criminal issue, you'll surely find clues about the Phantom Thieves. But that's absurd. So, let's say this rumor is true. Do you intend to ignore those students in trouble? But she just said she was supposed to deal with the Phantom Thieves and not the... What is up with this guy? I... Your sister would have solved this easily if she were in your position. What My the hell? My expectations of you are very high. I hope you don't disappoint. <sighs> Makoto, you really need to t cut ties with this guy. He's bad. He's really bad. Now then, so what kind of person would the big uh, would be a bigger target than Madarana? I wonder. I guess uh, it'd have to be someone who's talk who's the talk in the town, right? That's a uh, that's a vague pre-requirement. Uh, don't we have any more specific ideas? Uh, an evil overlord, maybe? <laughs> Dude, they that ain't some kind of video game. Or oh, Yuji, you don't know about it. Either way, we'll need to lead. I mean, we'll need a lead before we can begin any anything. Well, we just have to look for that as we go. If only there was a bigger target to slang around for us. Right. So, do I have after school? Please? Yes! Hey. Yes, I do! And tomorrow is the field trip. That's good. Hey. Uh, shouldn't you tell the others about the target in the mental? I could, but... <gasps> My girl, Kasumi! You wanna talk to me? Oh, Senpai, do you have time today? I was thinking I need to, to make good on our deal. No time like the present, right? 
can start having those basic into you anytime. Ah, hmm. uh, let me just grab a quick uh, fate persona, just to test out my idea. What's this? Ah, uh, still takes time for that, and there's something up there as well. Sweet. Oh, I can see it. It's going to be nice. Wait, wait for it. I really need to grab that uh, persona first. So, uh, it turns out I don't really have a Persona with Fate Arcana, so uh, instead of that I went ahead and fused them a little bit around and now I completed up, uh, well, I completed Carolyn's request with the Amino Uzume and Fry. It would so are you happy about it? <laughs> <laughs> Very well, your assignment is done. And with that, hopefully I get a second rank. Very well. It is commendable that you have chosen to work, work so diligent towards your rehabilitation. Huh. Hmm, I guess at least you've got the will to work. Of course. Don't give me that smug attitude. This is your duty, inmate. <sighs> that said, you have completed the task surprisingly easily. Yeah. It might actually be worth our time after all. Hmm, Justine, tell him his next task. It's, it's on your list, right? Indeed. Now then, I will assign your next next task. Be aware that the task on this list will increase the difficulty as we go. Are you prepared? Uh, what list? Hey! hey! You don't have the right to ask us questions. Your only response should be yes, ma'am. But what's li what what's on the list? If you give me the list, I could work it done. You know, if I know beforehand, it's, uh, is something the matter? It's quite noisy over there. <laughs> uh, not at all, Master. The inmate was just being disrespectful. Our oh, apologies. Very well. Continue on with with the rehabilitation. Listen up. Listen up. We're going out of our way to help you here. You better give us everything we've got. Are we clear? Mm -hmm. Well, our bond has increased. Does that also give us a new... It doesn't give us the ability yet. All right. Oh well. Uh, once again, we would like to bestow a new privilege upon you. However, it is excessively powerful. We ask that you fulfill another test before receiving it. Life is gonna just hand... I mean, life isn't just gonna hand you success. Farewell. Now, I will assign you your next task. And that would be... What do I need? No. A florist with Tarukaja. You only need to speak with us once you obtain it. We will be able to tell. Hey. Yeah. Got it? Florist and Tarukaja. Sounds easy enough. Anyways, it is time, it is time for Kasumi. What are you going to teach me today? I think that's good. Not bad, Nara-senpai. You're pretty flexible, and you catch on so fast. At this rate, you have the foundation down to the heart. You think? Uh, my body is aching just from mimicking Kasumi's pose. It's all about the harmony between the internal and external muscles. I can't get enough of it. We're just getting started. Let's do this. It's going to be tough, but once I get used to it... Yeah, it really is. So if I have a persona that fits, then I'm gonna get two notes. If I don't, I only get one note. Sorry, Yoshisha. I I was so mean towards you because I was thinking you never gave me two notes, but I guess it's my own fault for never bringing a sun persona along. Anyway, well, feasty, are we? I'm glad to hear it. Expert level gymnastics are beautiful, but they demand a lot of stretching. All right, let's continue. I stretch with Kasumi. And good effort. I think that's good enough for stretching for now. Good effort, Senpai. And uh, I'd like to continue with our training, but I am actually not good I'm not doing so great at the moment, so I'm not sure if I could manage anything too sturdy. Uh what are you doing? Are you okay? Oh I'm not sick or anything. Physically I'm doing perfectly fine. But I was thinking Do you remember how I said I wanted to talk about you about something? I've been feeling like I'm stuck in the slum. 
No matter how much I practice, I just can't get any better. I went to my coach about it, but she told me to take some time off from gymnastic. And according to her, I need to think about who I really am. The idea is not to stop doing gymnastic. She just wants me to take a break. I see. And what are you gonna do? I've never had an issue that practice couldn't solve, but now I have no idea what to do. So um, I want you to help me. You know, even if we are not doing gymnastic, will you still keep going out with me? Uh, sure, no problem. I mean, it's our deal, Thank right? Thank you so much. Really? Thank you so much. I've heard my coach praising me. She said Kasumi's greatest weapon has always been her boldness. And honestly, that used to be truth. I, I was totally fearless, confident. Gymnastic was such a fun challenge. But ever since I started high school, I've been in a slum. I got taller, for one, and there were some other complicants, compliments, and I can't move how I want anymore. Like, it's not even my own body. I kind of fell into desperation. I got pretty bad, and... But... But when you helped me in Shibuya, something occurred to me. When I saw how fearless you are, how confident you are, I knew you were the right one for the job. If I stick with you, Senpai, I think I can learn how to be confident again. Hmm. Then follow my lead. Showing the yes. confidence. Great, I'll try to. Thank you very much. You're a strange one, Senpai. I didn't think you, you would accept. Well, I'll try and return the favor through our deal. Aww. She's so nice. So nice. Allow you to avoid being surrounded by enemies in the palace! All right. Ow! Tumbling! Such a nice ability! After the lesson with Kasumi, Rain can now use tumbling. If a shadow attacks you head on in the palace, you will be able to avoid being surrounded by enemy and turn the situation into a normal encounter or an ambush. Interesting. Oh, excuse me. Uh, I should get going. I have a meeting with my coach. I'll be heading home now. Well then, I need to get going for the day. But I make sure you don't regret, regret this. Oh, Kasumi. Tumbling is already very good for me. Hmm? Aww. Thanks to Kasumi's training, I feel my stamina has increased. All right. What? Oh my god. So a good, such a good ability and you're going to increase my HP as well? Ha! Kasumi rushed into the distance. I should gather up my belonging and go home. Yeah, I should. So... Ah, of course. Well? Uh, thank you very much for joining me today. Are you feeling sore after all that? You place stress on muscles that you never used before. Please remember to massage them out before you sleep. Just like Ryuji told me. But I'm so glad you accepted my request. I was so relieved I suddenly got really hungry and then my stomach wouldn't stop <laughs> growling in my meeting. Ah, huh. gotta push through it, right? Oh, I know, my coach didn't know where all the growling was coming from. I plan on prioritizing my physical shape until the competition is over. Oh, I hope you can help me next time. I'll reach you out. I will reach out again soon. Well then. I talk to you soon. Bye, Kazumi. Until next time. Even though I kind of messed up this conversation, it seems like I didn't get the points. Oh well. Ah, you're back. Now I do have my guards, which means, uh, you know, are we going to the TV station tomorrow? I'm thinking we might find our next target there. Oh, that's right. We are always hearing gossip about the dark side of celebrity. Uh, I have heard of that. With that much money, they probably got their fingers in all sorts of dirty business. Uh-huh. That phrase has quite an immoral ring to it. Dude, you always re react to the weirdest stuff. Anyways, we got to observe a live recording of a show, right? Oh, maybe we're gonna be on TV! Well, we have just been in the crowd, remember? Any TV appearance would be like two seconds. Try not to pull any facial, wait, facial full stunts to garner the attention, okay? Sure, don't worry about a thing. Mm -hmm. 
Do we have a crossword riddle? No. How about my plant? Uh, still healthy. Okay. Now then, I would be able to spend time with Kiwai now, right? I mean, I am gutsy. I should be gutsy enough for this. Come on, Kiwai. You and me. You and me, Kiwai. You again. And? So what are you here for? I want to talk about the bag. Come on. Wait, I'm not ready yet? Wait! Uh, I'm gonna check my stats again. What was it? I'm level 3. It should have been enough. Or do I need 5? 4? Do I need 4 for you? How scary are you? Okay, change of plan. We're going back to the... To the burger. And eat stuff. Because now I should totally be ready to get the burger finished, right? Please take your time. Ah, uh, no, not that. We are going to take on the challenge, yeah. and this time we're totally gonna beat that thing. Let's eat it all up. Certainly. Now then, go take a seat and good luck. But seriously, Dauntless. Thank you very Which much. Which level is Dauntless? Thank you for coming again. Please do your best to complete your objective, second mate. Of course. Now then. Fast forward. Let's eat it all up. No! That was too quick. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Uh, go for it. Tough battle. Da, 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 da. Uh, you've done it. Congratulations on completing the challenge. Since you managed to crush the gravity burger, I present to you the first mate badge. Good. And to the Burger Baron who defeated this challenge, representing you, our world famous burger on the house. I hope you enjoy the taste. Ooh, five of them. Enjoy your new rank at first mate. However, one mission is still remaining. Please come again. I look forward to your next attempt. Is it the tower thing? I knew you could do you it. You defeated the gravity burger this time. You're incredible. You are so admirable, taking on such a daunting task with. Intense level of courage. <laughs> Two points. Nice. So that's guts. Nice. You pace your strategy of well timed drink and just the speculative way of devouring it. Everything was perfect. So that would be two points of knowledge. Yes. Two points of charm. Two points of what's next? Proficiency. Wanna head back? Come on, we should head home. Yeah, we should. <sighs> what is Dauntless? Well, how much do I need for Dauntless? Oh my god. And that's why we recruit sponsors to help make TV shows. Oh. I'm sure you know about commercial breaks. Well, those are actually sponsor related product placements. To sum things up, ratings are vitally important for a station's production funding, and... Huh. Um... This is interesting. Huh? Oh, then you'd better keep listening, man. Are you tired, Ryushi? For example, soap opera reruns are shown in the day, whereas alluring newswomen are broadcast at night. Thus, the scheduling department is where we decide what time we broadcast which program. I suppose you could say it's the place where the scheduling is determined. Can this get any more obvious? Uh, well, it's easy to understand. Uh, well, I guess you could say that. So, the best parts are taken from the footage in order to cut down the program to the desired length. The place where this filmed footage is edited would be the editing room. Hey, how much longer does this go? I swear, I'm not gonna fast. Stay yeah. awake, Ryuchi! Stay awake! <laughs> hey! What's going on? I can't stand all this noise! Hey, asshole! 
My apologies. I'll have them leave right away. Now then, it's time for a bit of hands-on experience. Damn it! Who does that jerk think he is? Hmm? Hey there. You wanna be on TV? Huh? You've got a slamming bot after all. <laughs> what are you uh, doing? I'm on a school trip. Just give me a call if you're interested. I'd greatly welcome a message from you, day or night. Uh, this yeah. guy's creepy. And do you need help? Greatly welcome my ass. It's obvious what he's after. Do these rotten adults care about anything other than looks? I'll yank their stupid hearts out, damn it. Will you quiet down? You're supposed to be acting like good students today. I understand you're bored, but please don't cause any trouble, okay? Okay. Well then. Oh, everything's uh, all right. Let's have you see what it's like to be an AC. Oh, that stands for assistant camera. When we're moving cameras, we need people who can keep the cables from getting tangled up. The blonde will do. He seems like he's got energy to spare anyway. Guy next to him. You can come too if you're feeling lonely. Come on, hurry up and grab the cables. Lonely? Are you talking to me? Damn it. This sucks. Huh. Okay. Oh, what a pain in the ass. This is totally killing my vibe. Be you should calm down. Uh, we fought violently against the long cables. Why are we doing this? That's that guy's job. He should do it. I'm so pissed off! Alright, calm down, Ryuchi. Aren't we supposed to be guests? Why the hell do we have to be doing manual labor? Well, it's so that we get a feel for the work, I this guess. This is bullshit! I, going to the bathroom didn't even make me feel better. Quiet down, will you? I get how you feel, though. That sucked for the both of us. Huh? Well, we gotta do more of this tomorrow, too? We do? No flaking out, Ryuji. Wait. What I about know, tomorrow? I know. I gotta be a good boy, right? Oh, being phantom thieves ain't easy. And that reminds me. We get to go home straight from here today. We don't spend much time in this area, so why don't we relax and check out some shops beforehand? Oh, I know a place. I want to go to that huge pancake-looking place we passed on the way here. It looked delicious. What was that? Oh, you mean Dome Town? The round part is a baseball stadium, then along the outside, they've got an amusement park. Oh. It's right in the middle of a business area, but they have some pretty hardcore rides there, too. All right, let's go. I'll show you just how courageous I am. Going on a scary ride doesn't really prove any kind of courage. I'd like cats can get on anyways. Really? Really. You might be able to sneak in if you stay in the bag, but you'd totally puke if you did that. Also, I think during a roller coaster, right, you actually have to remove your bag and place it on the ground so that you don't lose it during the ride. So, uh, I don't think you can come along with that. But, uh, let's just go to Dome Town. I'm really feeling it now. Sure. Me too. My stomach's ready for roller coasters. Oh, please, no. <laughs> uh, I think I'll pass on the puke rides. Huh? Excuse me. I couldn't help but notice your uniforms. Are you students of Shujin Academy? Yeah. Stuffing up? Yeah. What do you want? I happen to be passing by, so it seemed polite to greet you. We'll be filming together, after all. <laughs> Where are my manners? My name is Goro Akechi. Oh, Akechi? Filming? What? You a celebrity? <laughs> Only to the extent of appearing on TV a couple of times. Oh! You know him? And? Speak up, My Anne. apologies. I truly was just passing by. He's going away! Going. There's a briefing for tomorrow's recording that I have to attend. Come on, Anne! Speak so up! So you're going to go have cake now? I missed lunch today, so I'm quite hungry myself. <laughs> cake? Huh? Cake? What are you talking about? Did we talk about roller coasters? Oh, am I mistaken? I thought I heard something about delicious pancakes. No matter. Well, see you tomorrow. Huh. 
That guy's gotta be some kind of startup entertainer or something. He's never gonna get popular with that kind of hair, though. You don't get it. It's fine. We'll see him again tomorrow, anyways. Come on, let's get a dome town. Sure. Let's enjoy it. Uh, Suido Bashi. Hmm, interesting. All right. New shortcuts. Hey, can we skip the vomit machines and get cake instead? I don't think so, Morgana. I don't think so. After all, that's the most funny part about it. Oh my god, look at the roller coaster! I feel like I'm gonna puke. Huh? Oh, for real, my stomach's churning. Wait! But, but you need to drive it at least four times before it actually gets to that stage. This is why I spoke against it. Dude, it's not fair. Using your cathood as an excuse. Only at times like this. Anyway, are you guys feeling hungry? How about some pancakes? Sure. Let's go home. We have another full day ahead of us tomorrow. Aww. But where's the fun in that? I mean, we still have the evening. Oh well. Well then. Uh, we gotta film us at the TV station tomorrow, right? Well, try not to stand out too much. That's sure. <laughs> we would just think. Uh, yeah. Yeah, that's kind of his thing. Ah, no. Not oh, gonna yes. work. Not gonna work. Anyways, I'm going to make a cut here because the part is already getting long. I hope you guys had fun. And I try to figure out which level Dauntless really is. Because I really want to work on Evai, but level 3 is just not enough. Which is kind of troublesome. And I also need to work on Shaman, my other stats. Who knows when the next assignment is going to come. Anyways, until next time. Bye!